is a typical scene at a meeting of the National Democratic Party, or NPD. Flag waving and nationalist chants, and closely shaven heads. It's here in private that the party shows its true colours. Racist, anti-capitalist and anti-Semitic. The entire financial apparatus of this Jewish Republic will collapse in the next two years. Germany's domestic intelligence agencies have had the NPD under surveillance for some time. Their reports could hardly be clearer. The NPD is openly hostile to foreigners. But the question of formally banning the party has proven divisive within the governing coalition. But it's one of the few issues where two high-profile ministers agree. Earlier this week, they got their wish, with the government saying it would not be requesting a ban. The government's focus is on combating right-wing extremism at the grassroots level of society, and we are committed to that. We must be careful not to reduce the issue of right-wing extremism to outlawing the NPD. We want to see state and society combating right-wing tendencies in our country. Right-wing extremism, like that represented by the NPD, has no place in our society. But our task is more about strengthening activities involved in resisting it. But for the government, those activities evidently stop short of referring the case to Germany's Supreme Court. The two ministers have the support of Chancellor Angela Merkel, much to the frustration of the opposition. I cannot believe that the Chancellor is now shifting responsibility for the NPD ban onto the regional states. In December, the Bundesrat, the legislative body representing the regional states, resolved to take the case to the Constitutional Court. Some representatives of the CSU and FDP parties also voted for the move, in the hope of prompting their colleagues in the coalition government into action, to no avail. I would advise the state governments to consider whether it's sensible to pursue a ban on the NPD. We believe there's only scope for a party ban when there's a threat to democracy. And in Germany, that is not the case. Over ten years ago, the Constitutional Court received a joint request for a ban from the upper and lower houses and the cabinet. But the case was thrown out because of government informants in the party's ranks. Constitutional law expert Christian Petzalotza says there's no need for all three bodies to work together. According to the law, a bid can be submitted by the upper house, the lower house or the cabinet in their own respective right. That means it doesn't matter if it's only the upper house submitting the request. The crucial thing is the material that's presented. That material is evidence showing that NPD members or followers pose a serious threat to Germany's democratic system. Judges presiding over the case won't accept less. It's not about just banning all the nuts or nutty organizations. It needs to be more concrete than that. There has to be a threat to society. It's not just about banning organizations for the sake of it, it's about the danger these groups might pose, where you think, yes, it could come to that if we let it. Some observers ask whether the effort and attention is worth it for a party numbering just 6,000 members. Nationwide, the NPD polls around 2%. It has only made the 5% hurdle and won seats in two regional parliaments. When the full story of the National Socialist Underground, or NSU, finally broke in November 2011, Germany was in shock. The ultra-right terror group murdered ten people, nine of them on racist grounds. Jewish and Muslim representatives called on the government to send out a strong political signal. The government's recent U-turn on the NPD has disappointed them. Natürlich ist uns klar, dass der of course we know that a ban is no substitute for the long overdue debate on racism here in Germany or on the NSU crimes. 
auch gar eine Aufarbeitung der NSU-Verbrechen. Das wird das, damit wird das nicht substituiert oder ersetzt. But it would have been an important signal, especially given the fact that the NPD's propaganda is not some folly. It's a message of hatred, sondern Menschenverachtung und Menschenfeindlichkeit. The government in Berlin has spent three months delaying its decision on the NPD ban. It has now put the ball in the Bundestag's court, leaving the upper house to decide whether it will go ahead with its own petition at the constitutional court. What is clear is that the debate on how to deal with the NPD is set to continue for some time yet.